Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. We're at the Miami Boat Show and we got to test ride a couple boats. One of them was the Invincible 33 Cat. All right guys, we are on the 33 Invincible Cat. It's pretty cool, I've seen some really good pictures. I really like the layout, so I'm excited to see uh, how it does. Got me, my dad, my sister, and Spinning Ballyhoo, who took us on our first cat boat adventure. So, it's gonna be a pretty cool trip. Excited to see how the boat does. Uh, went out on a cat boat, first time recently this year. Really rode good, really liked it. I was really excited to go on this cat boat with the stepped hole, and I've seen the layout, been looking at the specs for a while now, and this cat boat really impresses me. So let's, uh, let's take a further in-depth look. So right now we fish out of a 27 contender, it's 30 feet length overall. It's a 2000 model hole with 2015 Suzuki 300s. And this boat obviously is a brand new boat and really well thought out. It's got a lot of cool features. First off, seems like a simple thing, but our contender has two seats, has a small leaning post. Simple and I like it, but leave it to my sister to point out that this cat boat has six seats right there at the helm at the console. That's a really big seat. So what do you think? I'm just happy there are seats. <laughs> I think this is all you, Chris. I'm all for you. <laughs> we got your back on this one. If you need a crew, just, just call us. Yeah. And well, what do you got in the We just call it right the Real Hazardous T-O-O, -O, the two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't really think about it because I'm usually driving, so I usually always have a seat. But for someone like my sister, who's a passenger, uh, most of the time the thought that, hey, <laughs> she would notice uh, this boat has plenty of seating options. And it's not like in bad places. Like a lot of times you'll see boats with seats at the very front, like in the bow, which to me, that's just like the worst place you could put seats. Because when you're going offshore, the front of the boat is the worst spot to be. No one wants to be sitting at the front of the boat when you're, you know, hitting wave after wave. And then when you're fishing, well now these seats are just kind of in your way. But this boat had it very well placed in the center around the console, so there's still plenty of space. Had little like uh, grooves in the seat too, so people aren't sliding next to each other. So that was pretty neat. I'm all about open space on a boat. I think you need plenty of space to easily walk around. That's what I like about our contender. And one thing I liked about this cat boat. See a lot of cat boats towards the front, they have this little step up. Just kind of the nature of the curvatures on cats kind of require that step but at Invincible, they built this cat and it is totally flat. So a lot of times, you know, you're doing fire drills on a boat, fighting fish, and it's nice just having a flat deck, nothing to trip over, not having to step up and down, and just makes things a lot easier. This boat had a lot of little things that helped, like the gunnels. The gunnels were actually very thin. I say very thin. I mean, they're, they're not like as thin as our boat. I'm sorry, they're not as wide as our boat or like some other boats like Yellowfin and stuff like that. And I feel like that's a good thing because by making thinner gunnels, it's just more spacious on the inside. Now this boat is wider than the boat I'm used to. Um, so it feels very spacious for only being, you know, a 33 footer, almost 34 length overall. But um, by having the thinner gunnels, it's very optimal, it, like optimizes the space you can work in. And this boat is still only about 10 feet wide. So it's not super wide which I like because it makes it easier for people like me who trailer their boat a lot. You know, you get into some of the cat boats and they get really wide, makes it difficult for trailering. But this boat is a really good balance between giving you a nice big boat feel with still easier trailer ability, if that's a word. This boat has really great storage, which is pretty impressive for a cat. Some cat boats don't have much storage. A lot of options, um, places in the deck, really long, storage compartments where you could fit long fish in or you know cleaning brushes stuff like that your bag it's got a bathroom in there it has kind of a, a seat in the front right built into the console and if you lift that up there's storage in there and it's pretty neat because it has these little slots kind of grooves where you can put different like slats and organize this compartment so you know you can not all your stuff just doesn't jumble together you, know, you can put life jackets in one area, you know, your personal stuff that you bring on each day in another, set each area up for how you like it. Hey. 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 
Yeah. I could easily get in there. Yeah. I could fit in that easy, guys. I'm at the right. safe. The boat rode well. We had 12 people on the test ride, and it was still fast and uh, pretty fuel efficient given all the, the fuel and the people on board. Rode good. Um, it's cool turning in a boat like that because I'm used to on a, like this typical V hole, you, know, you kind of lean into the turns. But on this cat boat, they turn more flat. So that was pretty neat. Handles the waves great. I think it's just an all around great cat boat design by Invincible. So good job to them. Well thought out, quality boat. Um, hopefully, we'll get to do some more fishing or something like that on a boat like this soon. Old Invincible 33 cat. Chris, Chris might have run it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we just um, sea trialed the new Invincible 33, which is a it's a very nice riding cat. It's got the 400s on it. Um, I rode it earlier, but I wanted to bring real hazardous and to ride it out. The spot opened up, so I'll let you. Uh, I'll let him yeah. fill you in on how great the boat is. So that's pretty sweet. Really like it. it rode good. Turning was cool. Um, when this first came out, I really liked, like, I looked at the specs, and what I really liked was, um, one, the beam is about, I think it's like 10 or 10.3 10 or something, which um, isn't super wide, because I do a lot of boat trailering. Um, obviously, if you live it somewhere, you can have a big 12-foot wide cat boat, it's great. Probably my favorite thing is it's a completely flat deck. You know, a lot of cat boats, when you get to the bow, they have like a step. And I like to be able to just have a flat space, no trip. Don't want to be high up if it's rough. So. Um, the gunnels themselves are thin, which is really cool because it just opens up a lot of space. The boat is very spacious, has a lot of storage. Um, it, it did a really good job on the design and layout. Even a lot of little things I'll go back and show you. Uh, cool ways, cool little arm that kind of curves up and you just put your coiled wash down hose. That's neat, keeps it clean. You know, not too many like little cracks that you gotta try to clean in later, like along the side like our contender has. So. It's uh, really neat. I really like it. I think they did a great job on the design and, and build of this boat. Hope this video helps you out. If you guys have any questions about my experience on the Invincible 33, just comment below. If you've got any experience on that or other cats, uh, let me know your thoughts as well. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.